Hey, this is Summer Rain Oaks, and I recently partnered up with Conscious Box to do a sugar detox survival kit. So what's that all about? Well, over the summer, I started a blog called Sugar Detox Me, and I really wanted to figure out how to get rid of my sugar tooth. I had always been really a healthy eater, but as I started to look at a little bit more closely what my diet was, I realized I was consuming way more sugar than I probably should have. So what I wanted to do with this box is actually put something really wonderful together that you could see that you could eat really well, really healthy, and really full of flavor without all the added sugar. And it could be a challenge at first, but I encourage you to take that challenge and hopefully this Sugar Detox Survival Kit is a way for you to start. So we have some 10, ten items within the box itself um, as a starter kit. And one of the things that I wanted to do is, um, you know, when you, when you go on a sugar detox, you kind of have to have some cooking chops in the kitchen because you'll find that you'll be cooking for yourself a lot more. So I wanted to include everything that you could possibly have in order to make a nut milk. So milk is something that we often have. Sometimes it's in our coffee. Sometimes we do it in a cereal, um, you know, whatever the case. And you might like soy, you might like almond, you might like regular milk. But what I found is that a lot of the stuff that you have in the supermarket actually has added sugar, whether you want it or not. And also some of the almond milks and soy milks have something called carrageenan in it, and that actually gives you a little bit of a gut inflammation. And so it's always better to, to make your own product because at least you know what's going in it. So what I have included is Tierra Farms uh, Natural California Raw Organic Almonds. And... I have a, a nut bag by Ellie's Best. Now this is one of the, the big nut bags that you use to actually strain your almonds. And all you really need is water, your almonds, and there's a recipe in the box as well so you could, you could find out how to make it. And one of the key components of a sugar detox box is, and a sugar detox in general, is trying to find the flavor. And when you take sugar out, oftentimes a lot of that you say, oh, all that flavor goes away. But in this case, I've, I'm including um, two spices, turmeric and, and cinnamon, and that's actually also great to include into almond milk as well if you want a more flavorful almond milk. So including those as well as some pistachios, so you can have some pistachios out of hand. And then these are some of my favorite. This is a seaweed love seaweed snacks. Um, this is the roasted sesame kind, and it's really quite wonderful because I was eating these in the doctor's office a couple years ago and my doctor had inquired what they were and I was like oh it's um, it's a seaweed snack and it's just naturally salted and he was looking to lose a, a shed a few extra pounds and um, you know he always likes to, to have the the crispy crispiness of like a, a potato chip and um, he tried one he's like these are really excellent and then the next time I came in for my physical he called me into his office and he showed me a whole cupboard full of these so it just goes to show you how you could actually help change people's diet through changing your own um, the other thing that I, I want to say is that this Mina Harissa it's absolutely divine now so much of our sugar actually comes through the salsas and the sauces that we eat and that this one made with um, red bell peppers and garlic is just absolutely delicious and you can make a shakshuka with it you could um, do a roasted cauliflower um, I've also even made a carrot mash with harissa uh, delicious you could also make your own but Mina I think has the, some of the best harissa out there California Coast natural olives also delicious uh, and then my friend Michael introduced me to this great company called August out of LA it's a new tea company and they have some really delicious flavors. This one's Civil Disobedience. This is one of my favorites. It's a black tea with cardamom and a little bit of tobacco notes. So there's a lot of unexpected flavor within their teas and things that you wouldn't think about pairing together. And uh, so I encourage you to try that and have one of, the, one, of the, um, one of the flavors here. And then finally, I think one of the most important aspects when, when deciding to do a sugar detox journey is that you feel empowered with the, the information that's at your fingertips. You kind of understand what's going through your, through your body and through your mind when you actually eat sugar. And one of the, the great documentaries that's currently out now is this one called Fed Up. And if you haven't seen it, uh, I really encourage it. And if you get the box, you'll actually get a copy. And if you've already seen it, I would encourage you to send the copy to, to somebody else. 
but this is really a good documentary on how sugar got into America in the first place, how it's kind of overtaken um, our supermarket systems and, uh, and what we could actually do about it. So I wish you the best of luck uh, on your journey if you're thinking of actually just taking sugar out of your diet or if you're just looking to, to kick the habit to the curb or whatever you're looking to do eating healthier. Uh, hopefully this is a, a good way to start.